deposed isn't a word I, I'd use, um, but he is no longer CEO. Um, I'm CEO, so um, the role he had, um, he no longer has. Um, you know, we created a, gave him a title that hopefully respects what he's been to the business as Chairman Emeritus. Um, I had good meetings with Bernie yesterday and uh, sincerely mean you know, what I said about hoping that uh, I can look to his help and advice as we grow the business. Um, so he's an advisor um, and uh, to the board, um, including me, and we you know, look forward to his help. But yes, he's been, he, he no longer has the role he's had for decades as CEO of the business. Now, one of the hallmarks of Bernie Eccleston's reign was quite often playing divide and rule among the teams. You're offering the teams a stake in the business. How widely do you expect that to be taken up? Um, I'm not going to speculate. I mean, we're in early discussions. I've got meetings in the coming weeks with the teams about equity. I mean, what is clear is we would like to create more of a partnership with the teams about how we grow the sport and what's the vision for it long term. The equity is just really a part of that. So I think the equity is one way to align us more with the teams. But our overall goal in any event is to create more of a partnership with the teams, realistically with the promoters, um, with the sponsors, with the broadcasters, of how do we grow the sport you know, for all of us, and then how do we share the benefits um, between us. Of course, increasing competition is going to be central to that. I mean, Mercedes have dominated over the last few years. How do you make the sport more competitive? As I've gone around it, I'm not an expert you know, on the racing, but I hear the same things. We want to make the competition better. The rules have become too complicated. The engineers have taken over from the drivers. The engines need to be louder, you know, faster, cheaper. Um, you know, the answer to those things, you know, you know, to addressing those issues, clearly requires you know, um, us to engage with our partners and find solutions to some degree. There are issues in terms of cost and revenue. You ask, you know, some of the teams, does it make sense to spend what you're spending, you know, on a team, you know, today? Um, you know, most will say no, but it doesn't, you know, but the answer to how do you then address it, you know, is not, you know, simple. So a fair allocation of revenues, would that mean, for example, that Ferrari may no longer get the special guarantees on bonuses that it gets annually? I don't want to talk about any one team. I think that's, you know, I think those are conversations, you know, we should have, you know, in private, I mean, um, you know, with the, part with the partners. Um, but, you know, I think all our partners, you know, broadly agree we can make the sport healthier, you know, for everybody. And they all agree that for a sport to be great, it needs to, you know, it needs to have the drama of competition and the opportunity for an underdog to win. Um, and, you know, but that doesn't mean when you get to the track, they're obviously all going to compete as hard as they can, take advantage of whatever they can, you know, to try to win. Um, so, you know, we need to work with them to find these solutions, but I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's productive. I mean, I found to date this is a sport and a business that seems to like to talk, you know, like to negotiate in the press and talk before we do. I usually like to do and then talk I and mean, act first and then explain later as opposed to, um, you know, talk first and then try and figure out if you can do something. Now, a lot of the uh, circuits in recent years, some of the new circuits that have been brought are in countries with questionable human rights records, the likes of Bahrain, Azerbaijan and so forth. Is F1 going to continue to host races there? I mean, certainly the places we're in, we're going to, you know, we're going to host the races. I mean, we're running a sport and entertainment business that's a global business that I think that's a good thing for us to be creating a product that um, you know, that reaches out across the world. We'll run it responsibly. Um, but, you know, we are in various places and um, we run great races in many, you know, in many places. We're going to, I mean, I think we want to make sure every race is everything it can be. Um, we want to make sure we strengthen our foundation in Western Europe. We want to make sure we take advantage of opportunities to grow in new markets um, like China or, or the U.S. We have one race in each, but clearly we can do, um, there's only upside in those markets, you know, for us. Um, we have some great races, you know, in, you know, in places that are not traditional markets. Um, and I think that's all part of, you know, what we need to do while we're running it responsibly.